thank you for watching XBite On Demand. My name is Corey Fauner, and today we're going to be talking about Dell's PowerEdge R920 server. Uh, this is really the top shelf of enterprise hardware. With its four CPUs, highly scalable memory, and I.O. options, uh, this is really the Death Star of rack servers. Um, it's able to crush all the on size SQL databases like nobody's business. Uh, first up, let's talk about the CPUs. Uh, the R920 will use uh, Intel Xeon E7 V2 series processors. This will give you up to 60 physical cores at 2.8 gigahertz. As far as the memory is concerned, you can see all the memory risers here. Uh, this will give you a, a whopping uh, six terabytes of total capacity of RAM, and it uses DDR3 up to 1866 megahertz RAM. Uh, just think how many VMs that you'd be able to create with six terabytes of memory and 60 physical cores. With the backplane options on the R920, it's really no slouch either. You can have up to 24 two and a half inch hard drive bays for a total possible of 28 terabytes of local storage, or you can have up to eight two and a half inch NVMe Express Flash PCIe hard drives. Um, this really maximizes capacity and performance. Uh, if you really want to make your fringe jealous, you could hook it up to a uh, PowerVault MD3260 to add in 60 extra drives of direct attached storage. Now with the RAID controller to control all those drives, the R920 uses Dell's latest H730P controller. This has 12 gigabits of throughput, which is twice as much as their previous generation of RAID controller. Also, it has two gigabytes of NV uh, cache. Um, that is also twice as much as the previous generation. That NV cache will allow you in the, in the event of a power failure, it'll write whatever data is on the cache to flash memory and store it there for you for 10 years. Um, also with the, with the R920, you are able to install two of those perk cards so that you can really uh, use this, makes it really work well for high availability applications. Uh, as far as your IO tech, um, it comes with a quad port one gigabit ethernet on board. You have up to 10 full height PCIe slots and it also includes a dual SD card reader for all your hypervisor needs. With the power, as far as the power supplies, you can use either 750 watt or 1100 watt power supplies, so you can really tailor how much power you're using towards your application. A good rule of thumb we like to tell our customers is that if you're gonna be upgrading or maxing out any of your three main components, and those would be CPUs, hard drives, or RAM, you probably want to go ahead and upgrade your power supplies then. There's nothing worse than getting new toys and not being able to play with them because you don't have the power for them. The Dell's PowerEdge R920 comes with its iDRAC 7 Express. That is the base option. This will give you a web-based GUI, IPMI 2.0, SNMP, also remote firmware updates. Uh, if you like, you can upgrade to the iDRAC 7 Enterprise to add features like virtual console, virtual me media, Diags rack admin, and a dedicated NIC. So as you can see with all those features, the Dell's PowerEdge R920 is really a beast of a server, um, and it can pretty much crush any application that you can throw at it. Thank you for watching XByte On Demand. Um, check out our website, it's www.xbyte.com, or call one of our reps and have them design a custom solution for you today. Thank you.